I'm your host, local realtor and founder of Leftwich Real Estate Group, and today I'm sitting down with Dirk Frickle, executive chef at Highlands Golf Club, and Casey Anderson, owner of the Produce Depot, to talk about an exciting, all-inclusive event taking place next Saturday, June 12th. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Really a pleasure. If one of you or both of you could kind of elaborate and talk a little bit about this event and, and what it's going to be and, and when, where and when it's going to be. Well, it's 10 days from now, June 12th. Uh, that's a Saturday. It's going to be from 6 to 9. And uh, the concept of the party is basically a pop-up. And a pop-up, for those of you who don't know, is uh, it's just that. We pop up in an event space like this for one night and throw a kick-ass party with really great cocktails, really good food. We're going to have live jazz music. There's going to be local art hanging on the walls for people to check out. Um, and then that's going to be from 6 to 10. So we'll have people indoors and outdoors. Um, and it's all-inclusive. And to explain all-inclusive, it's just like it sounds. All you do is pay a hundred bucks for a ticket for the night, and you get all you can drink cocktails and all you can eat food. Eat what you want, hours. drink what you want. Yep, we're gonna have oysters with caviar. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have bubbles. We're gonna have Trevin of Blind Bison uh, Bar. He's gonna be down here making some select cocktails. We're gonna use high end liquor. Uh, we're gonna have past appetizers. We're gonna have a couple of other tapas stations where people are put by making tacos. And most importantly, we're gonna be showcasing tons of the fresh produce that Casey brings into our area. The, uh, you know, having dirt come down here and, and uh, have, help everybody have a good time on the 12th and get to blind bison folks down here and, you know, eat some good food and have some nice cocktails and some live music and just kind of have an opportunity for, you know, people to get together again. I think everybody is yeah. um, it's gonna be nice. yeah. It's gonna be nice for people to feel like things are getting back to normal. Yeah. Yeah. Remember what it's like to stand close to each other and hand shake hands and laugh and laugh and have a good time. I think people are hungry for that too. Yeah. Literally people want to get out and have a good time, have some good drinks, socialize, network. Yep. And I like this party to be the first big one. Like it's you know and it's a great deal. Hundred dollars, I can drink, I can eat. Right, and if you think about it, I didn't use it. That's, that's all you had to say. I mean, I told you, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, I'm in, got it. If you think about what you actually get for $100 at a restaurant, you know, you're looking at, for one person, I mean, you're looking at a couple of cup, like maybe two glasses of wine, an entree, and you dessert. That's easily 100 bucks right there, or close to it. That's the game, you gotta tip. Number two, I mean, you have this, you don't have to tip anybody while it's not. You can if you want. You can if you want. <laughs> well, it's not this good. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. For those of you who don't know where this is, it's on the corner of 29th and 2nd. Uh, the former inhabitant was Mises, um, and then briefly a, a coffee shop. Um, and then talk a little bit more about the menu. It's a top bus. Yep, yep. So we're going to have, I'm going to do, I'm just going to rattle it off really quick. I'm going to have a station with somebody shucking fresh oysters. Uh, we're going to have caviar with those oysters and serving some champagne that complements the oysters. Um, I'm going to have a, uh, a smoked meat tacos. I'm not sure if I'm doing brisket or pork yet, but uh, either way, it's going to be awesome. All of the produce I'm using, obviously, is Casey's, so we're going to have a station where we're doing that. And then we're going to have a lot of past appetizers through the night, too. We're going to have... Um, like I said, these awesome mushrooms. We'll do like mushrooms and baguette, like real baguette. And then uh, uh, I'm gonna do crudités, which is like fresh vegetables, baby carrots, cucumbers, um, the track of the beautiful colors. Is this all you do? I hope you have some help. Well, I'm gonna have people help. Okay. I'm not gonna be doing all this stuff, but. But I mean, the prep of the cooking too. Yeah, most of that, I mean. The prep, yeah. I'm gonna get some nice hamachi and make a hamachi and a ceviche. Um, with uh, fresh cherries and lime, and then what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a delicious peach gazpacho. That's like a cold period soup, traditionally of pickled tomatoes, but Casey has these amazing peaches right now, so I thought that would be a great idea. That'll have a little bit of uh, mint gremolata on top of it. I'm gonna make some key lime, key lime meringue tarts. And then, um, geez, I feel like there's one more. You should charge $200. 
<laughs> I can tell, tell yeah. cool on that. Yeah. But I mean, the food that you're just listing is just something. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. So, so much mean, variety. Oh, then I'm gonna use uh, some swanky roots. And I have like individual swanky roots salads with um, like fresh fresh vegetables and quinoa, some burrata cheese, stuff like that. I mean, it's gonna be, you're not gonna walk out of here feeling terrible either. Yeah. You're gonna have good, some good, substantial food to make you full, but it's all fresh and healthy and, and like really nice, great produce. So. And live jazz music. And live jazz. We've got a two piece playing, playing piano and playing saxophone. There's a limited number of tickets, so uh, you can email me at uh, Dirk at HighlandsGolfClub.com if you're interested. I have a, a Venmo uh, account set up under uh, Side Hustle Catering. You can just go straight there and buy tickets. And Casey, I mean, this is the first event. You mentioned possibly more in the future. Yeah. Is it kind of going to be similar to this? Is this kind of like the first event, kind of see how this plays out, what we can do in the future? Yeah, I think um, there's kind of, there's somewhat of like a roadmap, what we're trying to do or where we're trying to go. And I think this first event will, will be kind of speak volumes as to the, to the direction and it's what we're trying to do. I, mean, I would love to have this be a place for people to gather and, and to be able to showcase, um, you know, local chefs, uh, local products, um, at the same time, giving place uh, people a, a fun, safe place to to go and kind of in a new place, you know. And I mean, I think we all lived here, being here for a while, you know, we kind of get stuck going to the same places and doing the same things. And um, I think there's some, something exciting about having a new place to go to and kind of seeing something different. Um, you know, I would love to see this kind of spur into this uh, at least doing this once a month if maybe not even more frequently yeah. um, I've been kind of traveling across the state for the last five years working with chefs all over the place and I think it would be awesome to kind of you know use this as maybe our, our go by and kind of like our standard and uh, be able to bring other chefs in after Dirk and, and showcase their talents and you know what Dirk might see is you know this is what he wants to do and maybe this is the direction with the food and the produce and you know maybe a different chef would have uh, a different avenue or um, maybe go down a different path with the, the types of products or um, meals um, maybe that they would choose to serve so um, I think that would be really cool to have you know continue to do it new chefs new new items, new menus, um, that kind of spotlight maybe their background um, and kind of what they're good at and uh, you know be something different for our customers that you know the people who support us and want to come and, and be a part of it. Um, you know this is going to be oysters and champagne and, and jazz music and you know that's going to be a certain feel which I, I'm all for. I think it sounds fantastic and you know maybe the next one will be um, something different. Maybe we serves it in champagne, you know, maybe it'll be barbecue and barbecue, yeah. exactly. Um, you know, a country band or just whatever it is, you know, and just have it be kind of something different. Or something time, always exciting, chefs, absolutely diversity. You know, we give, you know, give chefs an opportunity to showcase their talents and skills. Um, you know, I think they work really hard. I think anyone who's ever worked in a kitchen or, you know, been on the line somewhere before, you, you know, sees like the challenges and, and how hard it is. And um, I, you know, feel fortunate to work with a lot of chefs over the last several years and I've kind of got to see how they all do it. Um, I have a lot of respect for, for chefs and what they do and their knowledge. And, um, for them to have a, a place to showcase that to maybe like Drew was saying, he gets to you know, cook for these members at the golf course, and um, there's a certain group of people who, who know him and have seen his, you know, what he can do in the kitchen. For him to have an opportunity to, you know, showcase that to other people, I think is really cool. Yeah, absolutely. We haven't mentioned this. Is there a name for this place? Is it still in the works? You're still toying with ideas? Or? So yeah, so it's going to be called headquarters. So um, we toyed around for a long time. We've had many discussions about, you know, different uh, different names and themes and, and everything like that. And I, I'm kind of, I like history a little bit. And, uh, you know, headquarters was actually the first store uh, ever in this valley. Wow. Um, it was back in Colson, 
which Colson was the town here before buildings, uh, back when they were still what I like boats on the on the uh, Yellowstone. I can't even imagine you know, seeing a big boat like that on the Yellowstone, like the New age, you know, today. But um, yeah, they just, you know, Colson was down on the river, and um, that was the very first like store basically in this, in this area's headquarters. And so that kind of just sounded right to me and uh, kind of touches on the history of our valley and you know, I'm going to kind of try to stick to that maybe that kind of feel in the store of kind of being you know somewhat rustic and, and but yet kind of new age and um, maybe have a little piece of history in here kind of you know help you know our customers who come in uh, maybe educate them a little bit on some of the cool things that you know how Bill's involved in, in just some cool history so yeah you know this space is going to be used as uh, kind of kind of multiple use space. We're going to have it be um, something where we can showcase chefs, have parties. Uh, we're going to be doing markets here where we're going to bring in a, you know, a bunch of fresh produce, uh, whether it's local or uh, regional, global, just stuff that's fresh, uh, maybe unique. Uh, we're going to be bringing in fresh seafood, so you'll be able to come down and you know. Essentially, we'll start like a, a you know a year-round market for millions. Um, we'll be moving it indoors in the wintertime. Um, so every Saturday, we're going to have kind of like a huge market here, um, and then you know outside of those days, we're still kind of trying to work out you know exactly what we're going to be doing with this space. But um, you know, I think this is a great start. You know, partnering with Turk and the Point Bison and kind of having like a fun event. Uh, kind of opening up the summer and uh, giving you know, folks something fun and, and different to do for you know, buildings. Yeah, and the possibilities are endless. Like you said, Derek, this place is amazing. Nice open floor plan, a lot of places to just congregate and mingle. You know, I think there's a lot of uh, opportunity here and a lot of possibilities. So, looking forward to see what it becomes. Yeah, yeah, we're going to try to, uh, you know, there will be coffee served here probably, you know, at, we're hoping to be open seven days a week. Um, I've been in the works with a couple different bakeries in town. Um, hopefully we'll have fresh baked goods here in the mornings. We're gonna kind of try to utilize you know, what we're doing and then bring in other local businesses um, and you know, kind of just be a, a, a centralized area to showcase multiple different businesses around town have it be a place where people can go to one spot and get, you know, access to all the fresh produce, different local vendors, produce, um, local meats, you know, kind of a, just a, a broad spectrum of um, products and then also have events to help showcase, you know, some of our talented chefs and other business owners here in town. Um, so hop on his Facebook, uh, check it out. Uh, yeah, and purchase some tickets. It's going to be an extraordinary night, fun time. Uh, you don't want to miss it. You'll yeah. hear about it and you'll be like, oh, what? Yeah. How did I miss out on that? Yeah. All inclusive drinks, music, food. Uh, come check it out. This is Neil Byer of Love Real Estate Group. Uh, signing off. Until next time, cheers. Thank you.